Welcome back to my Ansible series. Today we're going to learn about facts and variables. So the as you've seen when we run Ansible, it says that there is a gather facts step. That step actually provides you with a bunch of variables and metadata, metadata about the host that you're running against. This can be extremely useful depending on what you're doing. So I'm going to show you how to use that metadata today. So in order to find out what meta metadata is provided to you by the gather facts step, run the following. Ansible space your host name that you're acting against dash m setup type less. So this specifies Ansible. We're running against the Jadur host and we're running the setup module. That is what the dash m specifies. And we're just going to pipe that to less because we're going to get a lot of output. So once we run that, we'll see that this is spits out a bunch of JSON. And there is a Ansible facts key, and that key, everything in the value of that key is available to us when we're running Ansible. So all of this, as you can see as I hit page down, is available to us. And there's a bunch of interesting stuff here. There's information about IPv4, routing, IPv6, um, your MAC address, your environment, your hardware, your host name, your kernel. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit our previous um, our previous play, our install.yaml file, and we're going to add another task. And this task is going to replace the index.html file. And we're going to have our previous task install Apache. I like to add uh, new lines between my tasks just for readability. And our new task is going to use the copy module. This will let you replace a file with the contents that you specify. So we specify destination. That's going to be var www.html index.html. And then the content is going to be I, I am post, and then we're going to expand that variable. So in order to expand a variable in Ansible, you use double curly braces. And inside of those curly braces, you have your, your variable name. So in this case, that variable name is Ansible host name. And then we're going to say, and I run the Linux kernel. We're going to say Ansible kernel. So here we're specifying that there's an Ansible hostname variable and there's an Ansible kernel variable that we're going to expand. And these will expand to whatever the gather facts step gathers. So now if we write and quit this and we run our Ansible playbook install.yaml, See it try to gather facts, we'll install Apache, and then it will replace the index.html. And now, if I curl to door, which is at 192.168.122.98, we'll see that that file now says, I am host to door, and I run the Linux kernel 4.4.0-81-generic. And it looks a little weird because I forgot to add a, add a new line to the end of the end of the file. So we can just change that so that it looks more proper. Add a new line there. And if we run Ansible again. And now if we curl this URL again, we'll see the same contents but with a, a new line added to it. So this is how you can use variables. There are lots of variables available to you about um, the metadata of the host that you're running against. And there are ways to register variables from tasks. So each task will, out, will return a object that you can register as a variable and then you can use that later. We're not going to talk about it in this video, but we'll talk about that later. So, Please take a look at all the variables that are available to you in the setup module. Find out what you find interesting, play around with it, and join me next time.